Welcome back once again, my friends, for another edition of Lance Plays. Today's game is, you guessed it, right there. We're going to be playing Control, and this one comes to us via suggestion from our friend from the stream, my friend, your friend, our friend, Pedantic Pixel. For you guys that watch the stream, you know there is a huge channel point reward that will get you essentially the ability to pick a game for me to play. So Pixel, this one's for you, buddy. I think it's gonna be awesome. I mean, I know this was like a game of the year across many platforms last year. Uh, it kind of came out of nowhere for me. I hadn't heard about it. Um, but I'm really excited because it looks really cool. Randio played it earlier this year. He raved about it and told me I needed to play it as well. So now's my chance. It's time to go and, and, and see what Control's all about. The important thing Randio told to me is to always like pay attention, like keep keep your eyes on the screen because a lot of little subtle things will happen. I'm hoping uh, I don't get too scared by this, but we'll see. <laughs> I'm not certain if that's a thing or not. I'm a little, little worried. Uh, maybe that's why Pixel wanted me to play this so bad because uh, get to see me jump again. <laughs> Gotta close the doors. We're not savages. Boo. Nope. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, okay. Well, if that's the case, I guess we're in for some trouble. And I guess that means it's time to uh, to take control or to lose control. Take control. All right, guys. It's now or never. It's time. We've got to try out control. I'm I'm a little scared to see what's gonna happen here. Uh, we'll probably do more episodes of this if this goes pretty well. And if you guys if you guys do enjoy it, and if you do enjoy it, definitely let me know. Keep in mind, nothing helps this channel more than interaction. So definitely, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you liked it. Let me know if you didn't like it. If if you didn't like it, let me know why. And uh, we'll try to get it better. And especially if you want to see more of Control, let me know. And uh, we'll definitely give that a try out because uh, I think I'm going to enjoy this. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, let's get into it. This is going to be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's okay. just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. Oh. I found nothing. Okay. It's like we live in a room and there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room. And the poster. Federal Bureau of Control? The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie. What is it called? The prison movie. Which one? The room's a cell. And the picture, it's different. For each of us, it can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're oh. lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The okay. room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. Oh, well, the audio is doing that on purpose. And the ones that see it happen freak out. 
and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why I was like, that's just too rhythmic. Here? Anyone here? Okay, I do have control now. Okay. So... So, WASD to move. Oh, we're gonna set that off. F to investigate. Prohibited items. So, we can look at this. Collectibles. Correspondence. Reminder, certain objects are not allowed inside the Bureau. Recent incidents have necessitated an issued reminder on prohibited materials. Page laptops. Any objects considered iconic representations of an archetypal concept. Rubber ducks or ketchup bottles? Okay. Anything smart. <laughs> All material under Bureau investigation is to be brought in through the private entrances. If you see... Any lobby personnel in breach of these policies, please notify your supervisor immediately. Okay. Interesting. Okay. I heard another door. Uh-oh. This seal. I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. What seal? I guess that one? Can I zoom in? Oh, I can zoom in. Okay. Staffing, surveillance, office equipment, janitorial cost, mold removal. Okay. Sure. Shift while running to sprint. Our bureau at work. So there's that again. Did you see that? Federal Bureau of Control. There was something in here just a second ago. Years, I've been looking for them, and they were hiding in. Did you guys see sight? that? Huh. Okay. Should I look over here again? Just in case. Check out everything I can. Nothing. Okay. It's just some poopers. Just some poopers. Nothing to worry about. Everything's fine. Alright, what about... Alright. A shark in his... Although... Secure permission to... Shoot to kill. Okay. Okay. We're getting some actual correspondence here, sort of. Okay. Do I actually hear someone? Hello? There's our janitor. Should I look around here first? Nope. Yeah, nothing. Hey, buddy. Hey, excuse me. <laughs> there you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. Okay, he scares me a little bit. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. <laughs> elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti. The janitor, by the way. Glad you I put on subtitles. Me. I would have you never known anything if they don't hire that this guy said. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna, you out. I I still don't know what he said. I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. Did he but just... That said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. Did he read my thoughts? Did she think about his face and then he mentioned face? Mm. 
Wait a minute. Just a minute ago. Okay. The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? Sure. Yeah, um, okay. Proceed. Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. Was that... 17 years since the men of this bureau took him. Was I supposed to know that? Okay. Uh, okay. When pinning any notifications of death related to Willow, all oh, please adhere to the following guidelines. In the service of his or her country, regret, proud pride will be remembered. Phrases to avoid, Alaska, scissors, blood or bleed, loss, apologies, and sorry. Oh, I could have just hit G to shut it straight down. That guy's face. So this is not this. Oh, bad clearance level, I guess. I'm wait. <laughs> Was this here? See, I can't tell if this game is messing with me already. Like, was this stuff here or no? Like, all right. Uh, Barbara, I'm not to be disturbed. Cancel all my appointments for the day, for the rest of the week. I can't trust them, Barbara. Barbara, not a single one. Okay. Sure. Whatever that means, buddy. I mean, we're going deeper into the bureau, that's for sure. Is this the director's office? Shit. Is it glitching? Shit, shit, shit. Now, is this my you computer? Want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? Something's outside. No, oh, was coming here a mistake. Uh. Um. Is there nothing else I can do here? Can I like? Nope. <laughs> okay. Uh, here we go. And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. I can't, okay, I guess I can't do anything here. Oh, look at this place. Where Wait. Am I? What? What is this? Okay, am I just am I just playing Mario right now? Am I just platforming? <laughs> sure. What's this? That I'm super good at. <laughs> uh, B for melee. Okay. Sure. The same gun. Okay. Control the gun house. It's a weird looking gun. And it's awfully twitchy. Awfully twitchy. Okay. Now I have a gun. 
Ja. Mhm. Ja. Well, platforming I'm good at. Shooting things, not so much. Okay, there it goes. There it goes. Oh good, I've got unlimited ammo, just have to deal with bad aim. <laughs> oh, recharges automatically when not in use. Now, do these little shards of crap do anything? No. Okay. Oh, hey buddies. Well, shooting's not my strong point. Maybe I should punch this guy. That was better. Get them all? I think I got them all. Uh oh. Well, you want to shoot at me now. Okay. All right, let's pick it up just a little bit. Okay. Hey, friend. Okay. Well, we got him. We got him. We got him. We're not that bad hurt. Not yet. Oh, okay. They okay, drop health elements. Okay. I don't know if I got back to full or not. Something's coming. This threat. An attack. Duty as director. Duty. Keep the bureau safe. Did you hear that? It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. You know what? I'm happy. Happy to be here. Me a little bit less. Me a little bit less. It down outside. Is it safe to go? Can I go back this way? Um, I don't. I've decided against it. Mm -mm. You can't let this happen. Nope. You can't let this happen. 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 You stopped it. You. Whoa! She's mad. Hey, I shot him. Kiss guards. Oops. Oh. That did count, I guess. Weapon mod damage boost. Okay, so we collected the health. Is this... No, still no good. Still no good. Uh, am I just escaping here? Is that what's going on? The hot light. Secure line of communication. Guide us. Breach the hot line. I already played Hotline Miami last week. This is... this. Oh no. The hotline. Oh no. Fall down. Hey, that was a good shot. Okay. Oh, are they just standing up? Did I see that correctly? Ooh. Oh. Oh, I'm hurt. I'm hurt bad. Uh, I need 
Oh. Shoot! <laughs> I was like, I got a direct line to him to shoot your gun, girl. Alright, we need that. We need health bad now. Where, where all is it? Where all is it? I will shoot you. Do you want to get shooting? Okay. What is assets? Do not have a clearance level. Okay. Oh, I can weapon mod. Ooh. All right. We'll see whatever this is. We checked out the suspected AWE in Duluth. Wasn't anything. Just like the house fire before this. Manufacturing clothes dryer before that. My team is getting pretty sick of duds. We need to find a better way to sort the fake AWEs from the real thing, or you need to rotate these field agents off for a bit. Anyway, we're en route to Sherman Ranch. Next one on the list. Let's hope it's a little livelier there. Sincerely, Special Agent Keenum. Okay. Uh, well, what happens if I lock myself in here with this dead man? Hey, dude. I'm just saying... You get off of that ceiling, we're gonna fight real hard, okay? So you don't. Alright, buddy? You just stay right there, okay? Okay, no, we're just gonna go this way. Oh, God. Hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this. Okay. Uh, start with the following. Welcome to the Federal Bureau of Control. Established in 1964 as part of an effort to strengthen government relations. We are proud to serve the United States and her people as we strive for transparency and excellence in all aspects of our esteemed nation's infrastructure. If they do not leave, then ask them these questions. Are you here to see anyone? Are you here from New York City or just visiting? How do you find this place? If their answers are sufficiently harmless, explain that this is a secure federal office and they'll need to leave. If their answers seem redacted escort them to a private room therefore the gunner's psychological psychological assessment if their response is within the acceptable range of deviance see the provided scoring sheet then immediately there's no such thing as too suspicious Place. is the hiss your enemy all right it's our enemy urban legends Urban legends are believed to affect the creation of altered materials, but can also dictate the characteristics of an altered world event. Urban legends are understood as a modern evolution of Jung's archetypes. We recognize certain blank informed by our own redacted and popularized by our media. We have additionally proven that urban legends can be artificially redacted in popular culture using redacted. Our bureau-made anthology television program. What? Once the seeds are sown, a human imagination that exacerbates the details. Certain paranormal uh, phenomena contain clear elements of popularized folklore, AWEs that only occur on redacted. A pair of scissors that consume human redacted through two punctures on the redacted. These details, living in the minds of so many, have given us strength to believe. Urban, re urban legends are not just stories for children. They are paranormal realities waiting to happen. That babble's contained. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. You guys just stop. Just stop hitting things. Nope. 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 Burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's time. Recharging. Okay. 
Okay, we did we did pretty good there. Alright. Just try not to be afraid of him. Try not to be afraid of him. Oh god. <laughs> I said try not to be afraid of him! Punch him! There we go. <laughs> That'll work. That works. Way more. Okay. That's good. We're because we're low on. The control point. Me? Yeah, sure. Help me fix it. Well, let's do it. Did I do good, boss? Did I do good? <laughs> what? This is like Inception. <laughs> happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope. Emily Pope. I'm Dr. Darling's assistant. Are we certain they're sane? My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh, shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. What? Director, Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Yeah? Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. I think I've been murdering if them. If that's possible, <laughs> our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. What happened to you? But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. That little smirk. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. So we gotta cleanse this guy. So let's see what happens. Or gal? Yeah, it's a gal. It's a girl. Hey, 
abyss has burrowed too deep. Ripping it out rips them apart. Wait, where did Pope go? <laughs> Jesse, over here. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost, or whatever he is, he mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. Champa? I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? That's a good I question. I think you already know. No. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons, too. Okay. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. So that's the hotline we're looking for, I guess. And we're just gonna go right there. It's got just one button. Well, this is getting very interesting already. <laughs> so considering I don't think I'm going to cut too much, much out of these videos, I'm going to try to keep these a little bit shorter and not do too much um, because I feel like this one's going to be pretty intense on story and is going to probably delve a lot and a lot more into my reactions. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I think this we're going to call this one for now. Uh, we'll pick this back up again next week, and uh, this will be interesting. I'm going to try this a little bit differently uh, than what we have been doing. Uh, I think we're going to leave these a little bit more uncut, for the most part, than what I normally do. And uh, let you see some of these honest reactions, because I'm already having some trouble with this game. I can only imagine it's going to spiral a little bit deeper from here. So, 
We'll do this again next week. I hope you join me. We'll definitely do another episode of Control. Let me know what you think. Definitely throw those likes, those comments. Please do subscribe for sure. So you can catch it next time and see what happens. Because, uh... I'm not scared. <laughs> we'll be fine. I'll see you guys next week. Until then, as always.